Okay, so today we're going to be talking about three different uh, concepts. One is going to be greatest common factor, the next one's going to be lowest common multiples, and the last one's going to be prime factors versus just regular factors. Okay, so uh, when we're talking about the greatest common factor, we are referring to um, the largest factor that is the same for two or more numbers. All right. So let's take a look at that, and we'll get, uh, do it by example here. So let's take, um, let's see, let's go 96. Okay, so 96 is made up of a number, a lot of different factors. Uh, so we got 1 and 96, 2 and 48, 3 and 32, okay, 4 and 24. Okay, it's not divisible by 5, but because it's divisible by 2 and 3, it must be divisible by 6. So it's uh, 6 by 16 and 8 by 12. And I believe that that's it. Okay, and let's take a look at 90 or 36. Okay, so 36 is also divisible by a lot of things. So we have 1 and 36, uh, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, and 4 and 9, and 6, and 6. Okay, so we can see that they both have 6's in common, so that is a common factor, but it's not the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is 12. Okay, so we have a 12 there and a 12 there. So the number uh, 12 is the largest one that's common between the two of them. So what we say is the greatest common factor, abbreviated GCF, um, is 12. All right. Okay. Okay, with lowest common multiple, um, lowest common multiple is similar but not quite the same as greatest common factor. Uh, what this is, is the lowest number um, that is a multiple of both, of two or more numbers. Okay, so for lowest common multiple, uh, typically what we do is we draw a little table like this, and we just um, put the, take two numbers and we start listing multiples and see if we can find ones that are the same. So in this case, I'm just going to do an easy example. So I'll take 6 and 8, and I have, let's see, uh, we go 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, and 48. Okay. Now, I usually I'll go up to the numbers that's the product of both of those numbers, um, just because you know that that is going to be a common multiple between them. Even though it's a common multiple, it's not always the lowest common multiple. Okay, so then we have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and 48. Okay, now 48 is common between them, but it is not the lowest one, and so it's, therefore it's not the lowest common multiple. Instead, what we do is we see that uh, 24 is the lowest common multiple between those two values. So lowest common multiple between 6 and 8, and abbreviated LCM, is equal to 24. Okay, now getting back to uh, the last part here is prime factors versus factors. Okay, so um, prime factors are the prime numbers that make up a larger number. Okay, um, reg just when we when we're referring to just factors, uh, they are we're talking about the numbers, the number pairs that make up another number. Okay, and I'll show you the difference uh, again by example. Uh, let's go back to our example with 96 here. Okay, so we got 96. Okay, so when, as before, I said that 96 is equal to uh, 1 times 96, 2 times 48, um, 3 times 32, 4 times 24, 5, 6 times 16, 8 times 12. Okay, now these, okay, are the factors 
of 96. All right. Now the prime factors uh, are usually found using a factor tree. Okay, and this is described in my previous lesson, lesson one. Okay, so what we have is we say this is two times 48. Now 48 is six times eight. Okay, and six times eight is or six is made of three times two, and eight is two times four, and four is two times two. So 96 can be expressed as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so 5 twos, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 twos, and we have 1, 3 here, so times 3. Okay, now these are the prime factors. Okay, and that's the difference between the two. Okay, so hopefully that's a very quick and easy lesson on uh, how to find prime factors, greatest common uh, factors, and lowest common multiples. And once again, if you have any questions, feel free to um, drop me a line or throw a question into the comment boxes uh, or whatever, and I'll be happy to try and help you out.